Hey everybody, this is Martin with Raztech, and today I'm going to show you how to replace a hard drive on a Dell EMC server. It's really straightforward. Um, it's not anything too complicated. And if you watched our review um, and walk around of this, then it kind of already showed you. But just in case you find yourself Googling it or you have any questions or anything, please feel free to let us know. We always try to respond in the comments the best we can. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. What you're gonna to need to do is you need to make sure that you have a key for this server. It also, this specific one has a RAID set up on it. Depending on your RAID type, you might have to go inside and actually set up the hard drive for the RAID configuration. Again, depending on which one you have and everything else. And soon I'll do a video about the different type of raids that are out there, what they do, how they're set up, and how to launch them and all that good stuff. But right now we're not going to get into that. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we're going to show you how to replace your hard drive real fast. Pretty easy. What I want to do is make sure you have the key, unlock it, press down up here, it takes the face plate off. Down here, you have your swappable hard drives. We only have four on this one, but you can have up to eight. But you're going to have a green and yellow light whenever the server is on. Green means everything good. Everything good. Green means everything is doing pretty well. Yellow means uh, you have an issue of some sort. But all you do is press this circular red button right here. This lever is going to pop down. Pull out. And there you go. That's all it takes to replace the hard drive. Now to get technical with you, all you need is a Phillips head. I'm trying to scan in so you can see real fast. You'll need to unscrew four, four screws. And then you can pop back into place and all good to go. If you guys can think of anything else that you might run into issues in or something else you want us to go over, please feel free to let us know in the comment section below. And as always, thank you for taking the time to watch our videos.